Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel or you have not already done so and you like sneakers, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can also hit that little bell icon, which will notify you or it won't, but YouTube will notify you every time we upload a new video, which buckets is how often? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. You got a kick out of that, huh? The bell icon, it just, it shows up at your crib. Yeah. Hey, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? How are you? Here's a video. So I says to the guy. So I says to the guy, who's got the freaking gabagoo? Um, okay, what else do I want to say? Twitter and Instagram, at Mr. Former Simpson. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, you can also... What else? That's pretty much it. We got a TikTok, but we don't, we don't promote that too much. Thumbs up. Thumbs up if you enjoy today's video. It helps feed the YouTube algorithm. Hashtag feed the algo. It's a little hot in here. I feel fine. Really? I feel yeah. a little warm. Maybe I'm just struggling. Who knows? Um, anything to add or are we jumping in? I love this sneaker. Jumping in. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the New Balance 550 M.A. Leon Door. These released recently and retail was 130 bucks. Shouts to our friends over at Kicks Are For Us for the assist on this pair. Some of you may remember last year when Teddy Santis, the owner of M.A. Leon Door, he created that first batch of ALD 550s. They were certainly a hit. It was a sneaker that I really wanted, but I was not able to get my hands on. So when I heard they were releasing a couple new colorways this year, I was all over it. I was very excited and I am very excited because in hand, these are even better than I thought they'd be. It's such a retro look, but it also has this really premium vibe. It's just, it's a dope mix. You got this real nice thick cut of leather perforated on the toe box and then smooth everywhere else. I really dig the red cracked leather on the New Balance logos. It's a nice touch. You got a little navy trim as well. This colorway is just very classic too. White, red, and navy. You got an oversized M.A. Leon Door New Balance patch on the tongue. 550 on the side. And on the heels, you have the ALD New York with the Apple, as you can see. New Balance on the other heel. International friendship through basketball on the right insole. And buckets, I guess I didn't say that when I officially introed or unveiled the sneaker, but this is the international friendship. Through basketball through collection. Through basketball collection, yes. Yes. 
It's dope. It's a good sneaker. I also love the pre-aged look on the midsole. There's just some really nice details on these. Even the mesh peeking through here in the front, it has that yellowed vintage look. And then on the outsole, you've got red, tan, navy, and a little bit more of that vintage cream color, whatever you want to call it. Super dope is the verdict on these. Super, super dope. To me, this is an everyday wearer as well, which I like. I've been wearing my Bacon Air Max 90s every single day since I got them. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that. They are trashed at this point. Quick side note, that life test video will be coming soon. And I think this might be next up for me. I think I'm gonna wear this sneaker a ton this summer. I've talked about it a bunch in other videos, but one of the things that I personally like about this vintage aesthetic that we're seeing a lot over the past couple of years is that sneakers that have this vibe, they look even better when you wear them and wear them some more. It's not some pristine sneaker that looks terrible as soon as you put a crease in it. It's almost, and not even almost, it's the more you wear them, the doper they get, and I really dig that. So, boom. Scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give these a nine and a half. Honestly, I wanna give them a 10, but I'll say nine and a half to leave some room for growth there. You know, Teddy Santis buckets, we talked about this on the podcast. Teddy Santis is the new creative director for New Balance made in the USA. So, there will be more collabs to come. You know that. Well, ALD is going to get more collabs, but he's also just going to do stuff with New Balance. For sure. I'm talking about the ALD collabs. There, there's no way they're not going to do more collabs. No, no, for sure. With him being the owner of ALD and now having his new New Balance position. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave that little half point for the next one. Okay. What, what are you going with on these? I'll say a nine, I think. Wow. So you dig them too. Don't get any ideas either. You, you, you're sneaker thieving as well. No, no, no. It's fine on these. I think that the green pair from the first collection is a 10. I think that's a perfect sneaker. So good. So, so good. Yeah, it really does. It, it, it feels like this blast from the past, but with an aesthetic that really works today with like the dad shoe, classic retro vintage vibe, all the stuff that I was talking about. That's really kind of a look right now. And so these look like they came straight out of the 80s. Yeah. And, uh, and I dig it. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. What are your thoughts on this colorway, this collaboration? M.A. Leon Door in general, just what are your thoughts? Um, yeah, what did you have for lunch? Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else buckets. Anything from you? No. Damn, man, I'm getting better and better at that. It's so quick now. Adios. Mm -hmm.